hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's a crowd youth here so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i create my thumbnails using canva let's get started so first of all you want to go to canva.com yeah and just type down go to canva.com and you see that search bar right there you want to type in thumbnail yeah, just type in thumbnail and as soon as you see that youtube thumbnail you click on that and once you go you click on that you see that they've got various templates things that you can use but if you're starting from scratch then you just want to scroll up and click on blank that's what you've working with once again once you click on blank they've got other templates in which you can use and the size you've got very very nice ones but because you are Starting from scratch, we're still going to be using blank to work with. So, first of all, I'm going to go to uploads. Well, I've already got some images in here that I'll be using. If you haven't, all you have to do is to click on upload and images. You can upload from Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, Dropbox. I'm going to click on device if you're uploading from your laptop or phone, and then you can just choose whichever photo you save on there and upload it to Canva. So the photo that I'm going to be dealing with is going to be that one right there. So you're going to click on that and as soon as you click on it, it, could be, it appears on the blank page. You may want to crop this a little bit and enlarge the photo. That's one thing you want to make sure when you're creating a thumbnail. You want to make sure that you enlarge the photo as big as possible. So it's visible across all devices on a mobile phone, TV, laptop, computer. In any device I'm once using. Yes, yeah, so I'll just enlarge this photo and that's the photo we're going to be working with. So to move on, we're going to be moving on to text. Again, okay, they've got a lot of creative text there that you can use. The other ones there, they're really, really nice. Like those ones, they've got good prizes, they've got thank you ones, they've got pizza party, but I'm going to be using the glowing one today, so I just find that yeah, right like there. As soon as you click on it, it appears on the screen. And then I'm just going to type down welcome to my channel. Well, now that's too big, so I'll just reduce the font size a little bit to about 200. So that's what we're going to be working with. 200, type down 200. Then I'm going to reduce it a bit more, 250. And then Oh, and then you just keep on adjusting and adjusting until you get the size that you want. Once again, one thing that you want to make sure when you're doing this is that the writing is also very visible and clear. Like, don't use any complicated fonts in the thumbnail scroll, it's going to be very, very hard to read. And you want to make sure that the color which you use to write the words in the thumbnail is different enough. Maybe the background in the picture. So I can make it seem as long as it's readable and not confusing to your audience. You can even change the color. You can change the color of the phone. So if you want to change the color, you just click on it. You click on it, you go up there, click on that. You can change it to white, brown. You know, that's really nice. Or I can change it to black. Change the purple, but mm, that's very, very nice. That's very, very nice to work with. Well, I might use this in one of my videos. But yeah, and we are done, guys. And that's it, guys, on how to create a thumbnail. It's very, very easy, especially when you use Canva. Um, it's not that much, actually, but first of all, when you're putting your images, you can maybe choose to remove the background if it picks up. You can choose to move the background, you can even add more pictures, you can add more styles. This is just a very simple, simple look. So, and yeah, we are done. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Once you're done with your design, you want to go to the top right corner, click on that three that says right there. Click on download, select PNG high quality. Then you click on download and after a few seconds it should appear on your computer screen right there you can maybe choose to change the name to like video one 
so you are keeping on track of which videos to put for them. That's it. See you later. Bye. <laughs>